was Richard Yates and uh, I'm from Wyoming in America originally and I moved uh, in 2002, March 2002 to Australia and I became a police officer so I was a deputy sheriff there and uh, I loved that job but uh, life took some turns and uh, had some illness uh, that came into our lives. I had uh, acute myeloid leukemia. I had that three times. That incorporated two bone marrow transplants. So that was very life-changing and uh, um, really gave me a new perspective on, on things and, and my wife and you know, nursed me to health you know, numerous times through all that. So uh, we felt that we needed to live every day to its fullest and, and fulfill those uh, things that you feel so passionate about. I started a hobby in, in 2005 when I first got six of, of carving. I've never carved before until 2005. The first carving I ever did I, uh, in, uh, in 2005 in our house across town here uh, from uh, Chewton in Castle, Maine. Um, there was a poplar tree next to the side of the house that had died and, and I had a chainsaw and I cut that down and, and uh, when I cut it down I looked at the, the wood and the grain of it and I had my pocket knife and I got it out and I shaved off the bark and, and it curled up so nice and I was like, wow, that seemed like, a, I bet that'd be a nice carving wood. And uh, I fell in love with it. I was entranced by it and to see something come to life that you had in your head and you could, you could do that in the wood and then the wood would bring forth surprises with the graining and things like that. So we, we sold our house and we moved here uh, uh, in Chewton, across town from where we were living. And uh, we, we uh, built a gallery and a studio here and, and uh, are developing that. Chewton is an amazing place. We have made our home here and I, I love the, the ambience of the forests and the, and the history of the town and the, the gold fields. And, and I, I'm just entranced by the idea of knowing that these little bush walks that I go on in the morning around just, you know, minutes away from my house in any given direction. And there's 14,000 acres of the Castle Main uh, National Heritage Diggings Park here. And I can walk any gully, any hill, and there's workings from the 1850s miners. So that, that has uh, really inspired me and I, and I have a fascination with gold. It's that gold fever. I've done a little bit of carvings and that of uh, celebrating the stories of the, of the gold rushes and uh, I want to do a lot more in the future. I really would like to, to have a, a steady thoroughfare of, of doing things to celebrate and tell those stories of the gold rush. So, and that's one of the things I wanted to, to share that there's a lot of stories that aren't necessarily historic but they are very notable and very tellable and shouldn't be forgotten in time and interesting stories and, and we thought why not take and celebrate those through sculpture and do life-size like six foot life-size people telling that story of events that have happened around here in the gold fields and that so we'd love to have that uh, on our property and, and around the town if we could and uh, we've had people neighbors in that that expressed interest to in having it on their property so we thought that would be amazing Especially experiencing an adventure and experience in World Wood Day in China and seeing the, the amazing skills over there of the carvers that we were working around. They go there, 300 participants, you know, over 57 countries, so I'm very excited about that. And do it in the woods, you know, I'd love to do it in some of the, in the native woods around here, so that would be magic. I'm very blessed to have clients that I can do work for consistently and do things that I love and, and that. so it's a, um, a great great place to be in life, you know, doing what I love every day and, and uh, my wife that supports and, and uh, is so uh, uh, a big a part of what we do and, and uh, contributes and she's amazing. It's fantastic to have that and share that together. So, it's wonderful that you got to just take it in and, and remember what worked and what didn't and, uh, and just develop from that. So why don't we follow that dream and uh, why don't we do the carving and sculpting and what you love and you're passionate about and you do it. It doesn't matter what if you sell pieces and that, just follow that dream.